my hair looks like trash at this point. I went to the gym. It's all sweated out. And I literally have like an hour to get my life together before I have something to do. But I, I'm i trying to stick to my goal of getting one video, one blog, one motivational picture. That's the goal. Three. Because this is year three. It's a lot of threes in this year. Third year survival. Turning 30. Three. So three. 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 So I really I gotta keep it up. So I'm gonna get ready. And we're gonna talk about this this thing and then we're gonna move forward. So I really just um came on here as promised to talk about what I didn't want to talk about, which was the fact that I'm um, at the end of last year I had an abortion. I did. I did. I'm sorry. Pro-life people are not going to like this. And I, that's fine. That's fine. I'm still going to talk about it because it's done. It's happened. There's no way I can go back. I don't know if I should go back, you know. But um, basically, not so basically, but basically I was talking to a guy that was like trash for me. I mean, I knew it, but he was cute. He was fun. So... You know, we hung out, we did our thing, we had a lot of fun together, obviously. But um, in the midst of that fun, I discovered that I was pregnant. So that wasn't fun. I um definitely. Why am I just so wrong? Okay, I think I think that's better. Sorry. Um, I found out. Wow, I found that I was pregnant and. It was just this whirlwind of emotions because I knew for a fact that I did not want to have this man's baby. I was in a relationship for like two effing years and I didn't get pregnant. So silly me assumed that I couldn't get pregnant. That was just what I told myself. Oh my gosh, my best friend is calling. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry, guys. Y'all know we be talking. And if I was just doing a get ready with me video, I could just silence this like I normally do and talk. But seeing that I have to talk this video... I'm gonna have to call BFF back. I love you, sis. <laughs> yeah, there was just a whirlwind of emotions. And the first thing that uh, he said to me when I told him I was pregnant is, you bitches always be trying to trap somebody. And I'm like, whoa, because the conversation from the beginning was, I didn't want to keep it. So I don't know what bitches he be talking about but this bitch if this is the bitch that he was talking about did not ever want to trap him he had four children by four different women and i was not trying to be lucky number five like it just was such a bad time to get pregnant like honestly if it was with my ex um even if it was with my ex after we broke up i would have still kept it and that's really because, like, I love him and we're cool. And, like, granted, that's still not a reason to have a baby. But it, I know that baby would have been provided for. And I know it would have been with someone that's um, very much so still going to be in my life. Which that other guy was not. So it was like, no. Um, just not a good move there. Um, but the decision to get the abortion just kind of... Like, I had never had one. You know what I mean? Like, I had never... Oh, I'm right. I never had one, you know, I had my two babies and even though both of their situations, their births were very chaotic times in my life, I, you know, I was very proud of having those two babies. So it was like, when I, the third one came along, you know, it was just like, okay, at this point, I know what it's like to raise kids alone. I know what it's like to be a single mom. Like I, I'm not trying to be tied down to someone that, um, I know I don't have a future with at all. And not I mean, for that his response to be bitches me trying to trap him i just i guess i was just very confused as to what i was trying to trap um i felt trapped <laughs> i was the catch bro <laughs> i think that all over you know deciding to get an abortion at any age is very hard especially when you know you love children it's, you didn't get it because you don't like children you got it because it was bad timing so um 
for me, it was just like, wow, like, I don't want to have this baby. And I know what that's like. I know what it's like to have a baby when you don't need or want it. I don't know what it's like to be rid of a baby. Um, and I'm like, well, you know, maybe because it was so early, like I was only five weeks. You know what? Um, I still have my ultrasound picture because for some creepy ass reason, I saved it. And I don't know if it was just like that picture, you know, it never has brought me joy. It always makes me sad to see it. But nonetheless, I do still have it. And I will put that in this video. But I was like, I'm only five weeks, you know, so maybe I won't be as sad, you know, because I'm not that far along. So, yeah, that wasn't the case. Um, I cried when I got there. Um, and of course, dude was being a fucking jerk. Like, he was being such an asshole. Like, what are you crying for? If this is what you want, what are you crying for? Well, sir, I'm crying because I'm about to fucking kill my baby i'm about to scrape a baby out of my body like this is emotional and am i supposed to be laughing like so he was being a fucking jerk and you know the whole situation was just fucking sad like, there was so many women there for the same reason and you know i talked to a lady and it was like her fifth one there i don't know it was more than it was more than two and i was just like whoa like I know for a fact that I don't want to do this ever again. So it was just like such an emotional process. Um, when I finally went back into the room and the doctor asked me why I was crying and I said, because I, you know, I don't want to do this. I didn't realize that was what you don't say in an abortion clinic because they're thinking now that someone is forcing you to do this. I said, no, no. I said, I, I most certainly don't want to have this baby, but I, I don't want to do this. Like, this is traumatic and I'm, I'm not this person. I'm sure you've heard this before. I'm like telling this man my whole story. I'm sure he did not care. Um, but yeah, so I get back there and I had to sit in this cold ass operation room for a minute. And let me tell you, that place is heartless. It is nothing beautiful about an abortion clinic. Like, it's so sad in there. Like... It was just, oh my gosh, guys, it was so terrible. It was so terrible. Like, I hated that so much. Um, but yeah, I just kind of like prayed and then I just, I told the baby, like, I'm going to make this count. Like, you matter. I'm just holding my little non-existent belly and I'm just like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so sorry. It was just, oh, it was just horrible. It was horrible. So, uh, when I left out and everything was done, I went in the waiting room and baby daddy number fucking never was like out of the waiting room. So I'm like walking out to a bunch of strangers and I'm just like, wow, what a, f what an asshole. Like you're going to just leave out and just have me walk down these stairs by myself or whatever. So I go downstairs and he was like, you good? And I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. The ride home. Um, I said nothing and he, when he dropped me off, he finally gave me a hug and you know what he said? He said, I mean, if you decided to have a baby, you know what I'm saying? I was just going to have another kid. I wouldn't have been mad at you. Now, I made these decisions on my own. He did not force me, but like, what the, f that did not help anything. Like him telling me that. If I would have had our baby, he would be there after I've already gotten rid of it. Was just, ugh, just fucking sick, honestly. I know how to pick him. <laughs> then he proceeds to tell me that if I get hungry later, that he will bring me some food. So I'm like, okay, that's nice. Like, I guess that's the least he can do after I just, like, murdered our child. So, um, I was I didn't want to take him up on that offer. But I ended up, you know, taking him up on the offer. I called him like, hey, you know, I'm hungry. And he told me that he could not bring me anything to eat because he was taking care of his daughter. Now, see, that's that's when I lost it. That's when I really broke into tears, like ugly, boohooing, crying. Because I'm just like, yo, like I just got rid of our baby. And he's talking about taking care of his child. And it was just like. Oh my gosh, I hate this guy. Like, I really hate him. Um, and to this day, like, we have no, like, 
I tried to have a friendship with him. Hold on, I gotta get something. But even having sex with somebody else, it was just too painful. So, um, and painful because it just, I just had flashbacks of the abortion. So, I ended up going, um, having my first, most of my first, how many, I think it was like four or five months uh, that I didn't have sex at all. I just kind of focused on myself and to be honest with you that's when my writing was really flourishing but it just wasn't flourishing for the right reasons like I wasn't talking about what needed to be talked about so I just felt like it was all just fluff and I'm just like okay girl you are a liar like you need to talk about this abortion you know you tell these people to be real with themselves and to live their truth and you out here living your best lie and then just like I'm a fraud and I'm a murderer and I'm just like oh I just I had to take a step back. So, um, that was, I got rid of the baby on December 29th of 2017. Um, I also wrote a blog about this on diamondblogger.com. Please take the time to go read it so you can kind of just see where I am on that level. Uh, if you don't already, like, have my blog set to email you when I update, like, please do so. Because I write some cool shit on there. I'm about to really get into this writing shit for real. Like I'm, I'm getting back and in, back into my ways. Um, now that this is dealt with, but I just, y'all, that was, that was rough. Um, I didn't even tell my mom about it. I didn't tell my mom about it until almost Mother's Day of 2018, and I wish I could have talked to her. Um, it wasn't anything that. You know, she did. That made it so I couldn't talk to her. I just really felt very embarrassed about having to get an abortion at such a, what I consider, old age. Like, I'm old enough to know better. Um, I'm sure if I would have tried hard enough, I definitely could have raised that third child. Um, or I, maybe I could have had it and, and gave it up, you know, for adoption. That's something I thought about. But, you know, me for me, getting pregnant is very risky because of my health issues and my health history so I just it did not seem right for me to consider the option so I did it um whew, and I'm be honest I don't I don't believe that I would have carried a baby for nine months and gave it away like knowing how I am with my children and how I am with children in general, like I would have just fallen in love with it and I would have had a third baby raising it alone. And that's really what I didn't want. So that's why I did it. Um, I just really felt like, you know, getting rid of the baby, like I could really forget about it. Like I could just go back to my life and like it didn't happen because other women that's had abortions, like that's how it seems like it is. It seems like they just go back to life. Like it's not anything, but that depressed me so bad. Like, I went back to therapy and I talked to her about it. Um, you know, my therapist understood why I did it. And she definitely still told me, like, it, was, it wasn't it was a smart decision to, to take those type of risks. Um, but it was just like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Life after cancer is weird. And it's like, I was doing things that were just like very not me and, and talking to men that were very much so awful for me. And, and baby daddy, almost baby daddy number three was definitely awful for me. And um, he didn't even pretend to be into me like that. Like he didn't even play with my feelings that way. I knew what it was from day one. And that's why it was stupid to take those type of risks. But uh, what I've learned from it is, you know, you do have to understand that every action has a consequence. And, um, you know, at almost 30 years old, like, I know what that little five-week, um, is it an embryo? It's embryo. It's not really a fetish yet. But I know what that clump of cells would have turned into. Um, and I guess that's what really bothered me. You know, my due date came along. I was really, really sad. Like, I went back into that dark place. I didn't want to talk to my friends about it because I felt like I didn't have a right to be sad about it because I did it to myself. It just, guys, it just, it just wasn't my proudest moment. Um, but I, I come on here and I, I want y'all to love the real me or hate the real me. I don't want you to love a fake me. <laughs> I don't want people to subscribe to this person that they think is just out here doing everything right and and doing everything without consequence and that I don't make 
you know, serious mistakes as I definitely do. And I, I know this will be my last one, but I won't be making this mistake again. Um, cause I don't, I know that I can't, I know that where I am today, the thought of that going through that process again, waking up and feeling, cause I, I got put to sleep for mine. Um, but waking up and feeling things being pulled out of me and staple sounds like that was in my nightmares for most of 2018. And I just would dream of like having the baby and then like it disappearing out of my hands. Like it was just, y'all, it was, it was a very low point for me. Very low. Um, I don't want to go through that again. Cause that wasn't great. That was awful. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a little story time, I guess you can call it. Not a happy story at all. Um, the good news is I, I have found, like, I am getting back to being, like, semi-happy. And um, I'm back, you know, working on, you know, my blog life. Um, I love my children so much more. And I, I just pray that they never have to go through anything like that. And if they do that they have me to support them and not me to drag them. Because dragging really would have made it worse if anybody dragged me. Um, yeah. But that's it. Uh, I will definitely answer comments about this if anybody has any questions, if they're about to go through the same thing. Um, I put my social media at the end of every one of my videos. Please reach out to me. I will definitely talk to you about it. It is not easy. It is not dodging a bullet. It is... A different it, it's a different type of bullet like having a baby and knowing you're gonna raise it alone is a bullet in itself but getting rid of a baby and knowing you were pregnant and then like you leave out and you're not pregnant that's a bullet too so you're getting shot either way it's just which shot do you want to take and I'm very open to talking to anyone about that so please reach out to any of my pages Instagram Twitter Facebook even snapchat like whatever you need just reach out to me I'll definitely um I'll be that year that you need because Girls, we be having to go through some stuff sometimes, and I'm I am not at all proud about what I did. I'm not, but I know there's other women out there that deal with this, and that's question if this is the right decision for them. Um, young and old, I know. When I was in that office, it was people as young as 19, maybe younger, and definitely as old as like 35, um, almost 40. So everybody, this this can affect people at any age. This type of decision of an unwanted child and I, I I'm not like advocating for abortions I'm not saying you know go get an abortion if you don't want the baby like I'm not saying that I'm just basically just talking through an option that is out there so that's it uh <laughs> if you want to talk to me after this cringy video um please subscribe to my channel. Most of my videos are not negative like this one. Most of them are uplifting and happy and positive and I'm laughing and I'm joking and I'm being silly, but this just wasn't, it wasn't the time for that today. So thank you for watching and I'm gonna go now, I guess. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Bye guys.